not too sure how well this is gonna work out. It's super, super, super windy. But I'm doing a Q&A for OK Shooter 2. Hold on one moment. Alright, so this was my first uh, response that I got for a Q&A. And it's hella windy out here, so I hope you can hear. I may be moving, because I don't know how great this light is. And my hair is kind of all over the place. Alright, so let's see what his questions were. Hold on. much better. Alrighty, so here we go. Sorry, you want me to? Maybe I should have like pre-read these. We'll just give it my my first my first thought that comes to mind. So you get the most honest answers. All right, let's see. So first question is, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, I hope all this bullshit's put behind me. I hope I'm clean in five years. Uh, I hope I'm successful. I hope maybe that I own my own doggy daycare because uh, I'm a dog groomer. Been grooming for quite some time. So probably that I would be in like a successful business and not miserable, you know, working in a place where you actually like your job. That's where I'd want to be in five years and just to be happy and moved out on my own and healthy, not sick. And that's where I want to be in five years. And I want to go to auto technician school. That's also what I want, but I don't know. Uh, if you could date a celebrity, who would it be and why? Ooh, that's a tough one. Oh, what's that girl's name from Orange is the New Black? The really, 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 really hot one. Uh, Rose something. I want to say it's not Amber Rose. Ruby Rose. There we go. I think it's Ruby Rose. I would want Ruby Rose. She would be like my all-time celebrity pick. I would want her, only her. I would marry her and keep her forever. And ever, and ever, and ever. <laughs> She's way too fine. And let's see. Uh, would you ever want to model? No. I'm the most awkward fucking person on the face of the goddamn planet. Like, if you want to know awkward, that's me. And uh, I have quite the, the, what do you want to call it? A uh, hunchback from being super tall, because I'm like 5'9". So I'm pretty tall. So uh, I just don't think modeling would ever be anything I would even do. I would feel so awkward. Oh my god, it'd be so weird. Nah, I don't think I'd do it. I don't think I'd fall to do it. Okay, next question. What do you think is the best way to physically hurt a guy? Have you done it before? It's an odd question. I don't think there's a best way to physically hurt a guy. Like, I think there's a best way to emotionally hurt a guy, yeah. To fuck with them. I mean, if he fucked you over, I've been fucked over by plenty of people. Plenty of people. And that's why I don't date no more. I don't date nobody. I did myself. I love myself. Um, but... What do you think is the best way to physically hurt a guy? I don't think there is any best way to physically hurt a guy. Oh, if you're pranking him. There we go. That would be the best way to physically hurt a guy. So if you were like pranking him or something and you like fucking surprised him with some crazy prank and then ended up hurting him, I think that would still be funny and okay. No, it wouldn't be bad. And then have I done it before? No. I've always wanted to be that person that's like the hilarious prankster, but I'm horrible at it. Like absolutely just goddamn horrible at it awkward and unskilled at plenty of things. I tried <laughs> one time actually my ex-girlfriend tried to prank me. She tried to do like uh, where you put the clear tape all over the door while someone is asleep and then when they wake up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night they get stuck in the clear tape. But she didn't realize that it's supposed to be tape so it's a little bit less shiny and she used saran wrap like a dummy. And I woke up and I literally looked at the door and I looked at her and I ripped it down and I was like how stupid do you think I am? Uh, get sorry about that one. Sorry. Anyways, off, off topic. My bad. 
uh, besides the face, what four places hurt you most to get hit, playfully of course, and rank them in order? Hmm, it's an odd one. If I get hit in my ears, because I have giant plugs, seven, they're almost an inch, yeah, they're an inch now. Uh, if someone like hits me in that, it hurts. They're a little bit, ten like they're not sensitive, like I can pull on them, tug on them, everything. But down here on the bottoms, like if someone like s and slaps it or like you get stuck on something, it kind of hurts. Like when I'm taking my shirt and it like gets stuck in my shirt, that's kind of painful. I'd say that's number one. Uh, number two, maybe someone gives you a dead arm, like you know when you're playing slug bug or out of state license plate and someone fucking pops you on the arm, I'd say that's number two. That would be pretty fucking painful. Number three would be dead leg because back in high school everyone used to fucking do that. Walk up and go like this with their knuckle and fucking just mm, give you a dead leg. That was hilarious for some reason. And number four I'd say would be a wedgie. Wedgies would be bad. No, 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 no. I take that back. Wet willies. Wet willies would be the worst. Me and my homegirls used to do that to each other and that's some pretty fucked up shit. So I'd pick that one. Uh, let's see. Can you stand up and do your best Michael Jackson impression? Hold up. Okay, I got it. I'm not gonna stand up though, but are you ready for this? You see my little nose? That was him. That was Michael Jackson. So that's all, that's all I can do. That's the best I got. What's your most memorable concert? Hmm. <laughs> I haven't been to like oh so many like I go to Warp Tour and stuff, but I love seeing Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star was fucking awesome live. Oh my god, I saw him at Warp Tour before he got like famous, famous, famous. He was pretty fucking amazing. I saw Katy Perry before she got famous, famous, like where she was still like touching everyone in the audience and people barely knew who she was and she was off on a side stage. So that was pretty cool too. Uh, but my best one I would say was Aaron Carter. I was like eight years old and I went to an Aaron Carter concert and let me tell you how fucking stoked that I was to go to this Aaron Carter concert. Oh my god I was so excited I threw up in the parking lot and he wore like this blue, I'll never forget it, this blue sequin jumpsuit, head to toe, blue sequins singing his Aaron Carter songs. The I want candy, you know like those kind of songs. And uh yeah, I, I think because I was so little, I think it was just fucking cool. So, I'll say that. I don't think I can fucking you. Sorry, could jam play. Okay. Let's see. Does it really hurt females to get hit in the crotch as it happened to you? Uh, I mean, it can hurt, depending on, like, what you're doing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's happened, like, throughout the years, maybe back in high school, and people used to be assholes, you know? But nothing recently, but yeah. I would say it would hurt. It hurts not, like, as bad as, like, a guy getting kicked in the nuts, but yeah, it hurts. It hurts. Uh, most embarrassing sports moment. I don't play sports. <laughs> I don't work out. I don't play sports. I don't walk. I don't run. I don't hike. I don't... I, I don't, I don't, I don't swim, I don't, I don't, I just don't. So, uh, I could just say, like, something embarrassing. I mean, maybe it would be embarrassing because I went to the gym. I used to go to the gym or try to go to the gym. And I'm just one of those people that I just can't work out. It's just, it's not for me. So, uh, that's the end of your Q&A. Thank you very much. Thank you for the questions. If you guys have any more or would love me to answer any random questions, I would love to. Just let me know. Leave any comments or, you know, any of your critiques down below. Just let me know. Have a nice day, guys.